if you really, really want to be the first person to get the flamethrower, the fastest way to do this is if you get on a plane and you fly all the way to B, because that's where the flamethrower spawns at. I mean, you're going to see it in the video, but that's exactly where the flamethrower spawns. I'm going to go ahead and warn you guys, though, that throughout the Battlefield series, wasting a vehicle is usually heavily frowned upon, especially if it's a plane. So you're probably going to get some hate for doing that, but to be honest, this is just a beta anyway, and you want to use that flamethrower, and if you want to be the first person to get the flamethrower, this is how you're going to do that. The good thing about using the plane to get to the flamethrower is that no matter which side you spawn on, you could always get there first. Now, oh, there's the Ottomans and there's the UK side. The Ottomans spawned a lot closer to B because they spawned basically right behind A, but the UK side spawns basically all the way at G and they're all the way across the map from where the flamethrower is at. But if you get on that plane, even if you're on the UK side, you can still get there in time. And to prove that you can, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how it looks from both sides, getting the flamethrower with the plane tactic. Also, as far as I can tell, not everybody knows where the flamethrower spawns at because there's times where basically nobody really ever makes an effort to go to it, but there's other times where I see like five people trying to get to it at the same time. But actually, there was this one time I tried to get to the flamethrower, and like some person behind me picked it up before I did it, that was pretty annoying, but I mean, he was on my spot, so I was like, whatever, have fun with it. But there is going to be a time where everybody knows exactly where the flamethrower is at, so when that time comes, the plane is still going to be the fastest way to get to it in time. 